Figure and OpenAI are breaking up. A year after the two joined forces, Figure founder Brett Adcock just announced he decided to end the Silicon Valley robotics firm's collaborative agreement with Sam Altman's company. He says it's because of a big breakthrough. The move comes as Figure plans to aggressively scale production of its AI-powered humanoid robots while open AI ventures into hardware. Let's figure out what this all means. Also, NVIDIA and Carnegie researchers say they have a new breakthrough that teaches robots to move like the world's top athletes. Sunnyvale-based figure signed a collaborative agreement with OpenAI in February 2024 to develop next-generation AI models for humanoid robots. The startup, founded in 2022, planned to combine OpenAI's research with Figure's hardware to enable robots to process and reason from natural language. The partnership came as Figure raised $675 million in Series B funding from investors including Jeff Bezos, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Intel, Amazon, and OpenAI. A few weeks later, Figure demonstrated its integration with ChatGPT with a video of its first-generation robot, the Figure One, engaging in conversation. Great. So, based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. Since then, Figure has introduced its second generation humanoid, the Figure 2. A small fleet of Figure 2 robots started working full time at the BMW factory in Spartanburg, South Carolina in January 2025. Last week, Adcock announced that Figure had signed its second commercial customer. The founder didn't name the customer, but said it's one of the largest companies in the United States. Adcock said Figure is running an end-to-end -end neural network for the new client's use case, which will be used for AI training. With the new development, Adcock said he sees a path for shipping up to 100,000 humanoid robots over the next four years. To meet that goal, Figure would need to produce around 1,000 units in 2025, which is possible as evidenced by Ajabot, a younger Chinese startup that says it manufactured 1,000 robots in 2024. Figure is seen as perhaps the most formidable competitor for Tesla, which plans to produce up to 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots this year. While Tesla's production target is much larger than Figure's, Elon Musk has admitted it's highly aspirational. The normal internal plan calls for roughly 10,000 Optimus robots to be built this year. Will we succeed in building 10,000 exactly by the end of December this year? Uh, probably not, we, 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 but, I, but will we succeed in making several thousand? Yes, I think we will. Um, will those several thousand Optimus robots be doing useful things by the end of the year? Yes, I'm confident they will do, they will do useful things. Figure is developing its next generation robot, presumably called the Figure 3, that's optimized for high rate manufacturing. So I think we have like some good folks here that have been um, kind of leading us down a path where as we get to Figure 3, we're at a place where we're production, we're, we're high volume production ready. Yeah. And that, that is something we just, you know, can't think about yesterday or today or tomorrow, we, this just goes back years. Um, and what that ultimately means is designing a robot from the ground up to do that. Adcock said Figure's focus is on vertical growth with select key accounts rather than aggressive expansion. In the split up announcement, Adcock said the decision followed a major breakthrough on a fully end-to-end -end robot AI system built entirely in-house. He promised to demo the technology in the next 30 days. Adcock told TechCrunch embodied AI in real-world scenarios cannot be achieved by outsourcing to OpenAI. Meanwhile, OpenAI has shown a renewed interest in robotics. The startup recently relaunched its robotics team after disbanding it in 2020. This includes hiring for roles that will train multimodal robotics models, explore new model architectures, collect robotics data, and conduct evaluations. We uh, see humanoid robots 
or humanoid robot brains from OpenAI at some point? At some point. How important is embodied AI to you? I think it's like sort of depressing if we have AGI <laughs> and the only way to like get things done in the physical world is like to make a human go do it. Mm -hmm. So I, I really hope that as part of this transition, as this phase change, we also get uh we also get humanoid robots or some sort of physical world robots. Open AI's first foray into robotics was in 2017 with the introduction of Dactyl, an AI system for training a robotic hand through simulation using reinforcement learning. Research continued throughout the late 2010s with initiatives focused on teaching robots new tasks with AI and experiments with VR headsets for demonstration learning. In November 2024, Caitlin Kalinowski, the former head of Meta's AR Glasses Initiative, joined OpenAI to lead its robotics and consumer hardware efforts. Reports indicate that OpenAI is considering developing its own humanoid robot. There are hints in job listings that OpenAI is creating its own robotics hardware, including custom sensors and electronics. According to reports, OpenAI also just filed a trademark application in the U.S. that included references to user programmable humanoid robots. They're described as humanoids with communication and learning functions for assisting and entertaining people. OpenAI also backs Norway-based One X Technologies, which is readying its next-generation AI robot, Neo, for home use. On its website, Figure AI lists OpenAI, Microsoft, and NVIDIA as its partners in building robots at scale. Figure's collaboration with OpenAI focused on fine-tuning custom multimodal models on humanoid robot data. Like other major humanoid robotics players, Figure relies heavily on NVIDIA's GPUs and digital twin technologies for training and running AI models. The tech giant just teamed up with Carnegie Mellon to teach humanoid robots to copy moves from top athletes using reinforcement learning. The team just introduced its new humanoid robot training framework called ASAP, short for Aligning Simulation and Real-World Physics for Learning Agile Humanoid Whole Body Skills. In their paper, the researchers said the method made the robot's movements more natural and reduced errors by more than 50%. They use videos of real athletes to simulate moves like Cristiano Ronaldo's jump, LeBron James' silencer, and Kobe Bryant's fadeaway shot. They also trained it to op you too. They turned the videos into 3D motion data that a robot can copy using a computer program called TRAM. The motion data included body position, movement, and shape details. They fine-tuned the data before using it to train Unitree G1 humanoid robots to copy the actions. The researchers concluded that humanoid robots can get much better at moving like humans, but there are still big physical limitations. To keep up as humanoid robots evolve rapidly, make sure to subscribe.